The country is facing yet another backlash. This after the Speaker of the Canadian House of Commons honoured a Nazi veteran in the Canadian Parliament. In a session that was attended by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and Ukrainian President Zelensky, Speaker Anthony Rota recognised Yaroslav Hunka as a hero and thanked him for his service. The Nazi veteran also received a standing ovation from the Canadian Parliament. Both Zelensky and Trudeau joined in acknowledging Hunka with an applause. Hunker served in one of Adolf Hitler's Waffen SS units during World War II. This did not go down well with the rest of the world, and opposition leaders and a Jewish human rights group have now demanded an apology from Speaker Rota for honoring a person whose lies with the Nazi are well documented. The Speaker of the House of Commons later also issued an apology, apology sorry, to the Jewish community and claimed that the entire initiative was his own. Meanwhile, Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau also expressed that he was deeply embarrassed by this incident. On the other hand, the Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov has stated that the entire episode showed a careless disregard for historical truth. What does such an embarrassment mean for the Trudeau administration and for the Prime Minister himself? That too amid a backlash that's already taking place geopolitically as far as Canada's support to Khalistan extremism is concerned. Let's try and place the geopolitical standing of such a controversy. And for that, let me introduce my guest today. I'm joined in by Puneet Sani, who's a scholar on Khalistan extremism and the origins of Sikhism. Many thanks to you, Puneet, for joining in. How do you weigh in on the apology that's been offered by Justin Trudeau and the Speaker of the House of Commons, Mr. Rota? Many are saying it's too little too late. I just think he's like out of his depth. He is not a serious politician. So, you know, whoever presents something in front of him, uh, you know, he, he just comes and, you know, speaks it. So it, it just shows, you know, like he's not just compromised. Uh, but he just ha doesn't have gravitas and it's very sad what Canada is undergoing. All right. Also, leader of the opposition, Pierre Poliev, has slammed the speaker and Trudeau demanding the resignation of the speaker amid such a diplomatic row with India over Khalistan extremism. How is honouring of a Nazi in the Canadian parliament going to be viewed all over the world? Of course, you know, it is viewed in like terrible, terrible light. And I think, you know, it will probably gather more attention because, you know, like, of course, I believe all human lives are equal. But, you know, of course, white lives matter more than brown lives in the eyes of the Western world. And also, you know, like the world is uh, much, much more alarmed about anti-Semitism than Hindu phobia. So they have an idea, you know, like this, you know, like this war criminal should not be. And, you know, like if you just see, like I just put like a... Uh, uh, video, you know, like I, I got uh, access to the secret video. So where they are doing this referendum, Talvinder Pramar, who basically bombed, you know, uh, these uh, 300, over 300 people midair. And, you know, uh, ma'am, to tell you something, is, uh, you know, you just hear the number 331. I actually know some of the families. And anybody who has lost, you know, uh, early a family member knows how you go through the grief. So these people, they were going for summer vacation. 85 were kids under 12 years old. These families are still grieving. And what are these Pannu and Bakadi and everybody? You can see it's a, it's a video on my Twitter. It's going viral. The guys are saying, long live Parmar. Jathedar Parmar, uh, Tal Talvinder Singh Zindabad. It's, it's like saying, you know, like, uh, oh, you know, Mengele or Hitler Zindabad. But, you know, like the thing is there, they don't care because, you know, like uh, our lives don't matter. So, of course, you know, if he's uh, is not, you know, I hope other people pay attention to what kind of politics is happening in Canada now. Puneet, after this passionate address that was delivered by Zelensky in the parliament, he raised his fist in acknowledgement to the veteran who, of course, saluted. Lastly, where does this leave Zelensky, who is Jewish and himself lost his family members during the Holocaust, but now is looking for Western aid? So first of all, what Trudeau did, there, there is no justification of that. What Canadian parliament did, and it should be ashamed of it. No, about Zelensky, I'm, of course, like not justifying any war criminal. But you think, you know, when war was happening and, you know, like if you look at what happened in Kiev, it was like the biggest uh, in history, how this army did. And, you know, like the Ukrainians were, you know, kind of like fighting the Russians. 
who were doing and you know they were take, they were not some big power who were doing it and a lot of times you know when they were also fighting you know people were coerced to fight so i you know it's a very very murky world about which i don't know the specifics before making it so you know like if you know there, there might be a context or something of course you know like th- there is no support of you know anti semitism or something like that but a lot of people who were fighting there were also like coerced to fight and were there might be some people who were fighting not because you know uh, they might have supported the germans but they really wanted to hated uh, russia more so you know like these things are very complicated but what trudeau and canada has done is unforgivable All right. Uh, thank you so much, Puneet, for joining in. On that note, let's also uh, tell you more about this Nazi veteran who was honoured in the Canadian Parliament. Uh, remember, he's 97 years old. But what is the history behind this war veteran of World War II? Let's tell you more about it. And I'm deeply sorry that I have offended many uh, in my, with my gesture and remarks. That's the Speaker of Canada's House of Commons apologizing for praising an individual at a parliamentary meeting who served in a Nazi unit during World War II. On Friday, during a visit by Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, Speaker Anthony Roda recognized 98-year-old Yaroslav Hunka as a quote Ukrainian hero. Hunka served in World War II as a member of the 14th Waffen Grenadier Division of the SS. That's according to the Friends of Simon Wiesenthal Center, a Jewish human rights group that demanded an apology on Sunday. Rota acknowledged Hunka after a speech by Zelensky praising the World War II veteran for fighting for Ukrainian independence against the Russians. Even at his age of 98, Hunka received two standing ovations from lawmakers. In his apology, Rota said he alone was responsible. No one. including you my fellow parliamentarians or ukraine the ukraine delegation was privy to my remarks prior to their delivery in parliament reaction came quickly from the government i think it's been deeply embarrassing for canada and i think it was deeply embarrassing for the president of the ukraine who came here in friendship and members of the opposition it was profoundly hurtful for so many canadians and and to people around the world and he has to step down as a consequence of that hunka could not be reached for comment obviously it's extremely upsetting that this happened uh, the speaker speaker has uh, acknowledged his mistake uh, and has apologized Uh, but this is something that is deeply embarrassing to the Parliament of Canada and, by extension, to all Canadians. Uh, I think, particularly, of Jewish MPs and all members of the Jewish community across the country who are uh, celebrating Yom or commemorating Yom Kippur today. Uh, I think it's going to be really important that all of us push back against Russian propaganda, Russian disinformation, and continue our steadfast and unequivocal support for Ukraine uh, as. Uh, we did last week with announcing uh, further measures to stand with Ukraine in uh, Russia's illegal war against it.